What's up? What's happening? What is going on, cantaloupes? It seems like sports and rants go together like peanut butter and jelly. Mm, mm, mm. So much so that sports networks put like seven hours of shows dedicated to ranting every day in their schedule. Stay off the weed. For some reason though, when I rant, I just find comments of people saying I'm stupid and I should be fired. Today, I'm talking about the 10 best head coaching rants in sports history. Also, just like our latest man on the street video, this video has a giveaway. Once this video hits 5,000 likes, anyone who comments on this video about their favorite rant or a story about a time their coach went on a crazy rant will be entered for a chance to win NBA 2K18 or Madden 18. We'll be announcing the winners on social media, so make sure to follow us, like, and comment so you don't miss out. Number 10, Jerry Burns. Funny thing is, the Vikings won this game. Uh, it was a dumb play by, by Anderson. I love, I love Anderson. But it was a dumb f***ing play when, he had, when his foot was, uh, shoe was coming off, up the line screen. We were hiring take timeout. We had a trap play called, and, and, he, and his, his shoe comes off. That, 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 ain't, that ain't Bob Schnelker's fault. We have another f***ing trap play, and if, and if Finney picks up his f***ing feet, he walks in. Number nine, John Tortorella. That's what I'm saying, Brooksy. Are you answering no questions or what? I guess that's what I'm saying, Brooksy. You get that through your head? I guess so. Yeah. And it's time to waste the time. Oh, then get the f out of here then. I am. Okay, see ya. Number eight, how McRae. This one made it high on our list of the best all time baseball manager tantrum. So here it is again, because we can't get enough of it. And in, in, in the. Got all these stupid ass questions every night. Find the that I hit Brett for. Miller. Miller starts his game. He's playing against left hand. This bitch's bread is not playing against left hand. This bitch is trying to buy back for, for Miller. You think I'm a damn fool? You tired of all these bad questions every night. Number seven, Herm Edwards. Herm is without a doubt one of the greatest coaches in modern NFL history. He also has one of the most iconic sound bites in NFL history. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins, you go play to win. Number six, Barry Hinson. All I know is that I'm not remotely confident in my ability to go two for 11 in a D1 basketball game. Barry Hinson's confident in his wife, though. Off game? Yeah, and Marcus had an off game. Marcus was absolutely awful. That's about as PG rated as I can say it. He was awful. Our guards were awful. Our three starting guards had one assist and seven turnovers. They must think it's a tax credit. It's unbelievable how our starting guards play. And let's talk about our big guys. Two for 11. How can you go two for 11? My wife, my wife can score more than two buckets on 11 shots because I know my wife will at least shot fake one time. Number five, Dennis Green. Green actually mentions that his wife and doctor credited him for getting the stress out of his system. We credit him for this iconic soundbite. We, we, we just, uh, let's, we, the Bears are what we thought they were. What, what, they're what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bull? We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Number four, Coach Gundy. At this point, these are so iconic, I can't think of any insights to bring you other than quoting these sound bites. On that note, I'm 40. I'm actually 23. Oracle embarrasses me to be involved with athletics. I don't have a child. I do. If your child goes down the street and somebody makes fun of him because he dropped a pass in a pickup game or says he's fat, and he comes home crying to his mom? You'd understand. 
Are you kidding me? Where are we at in society today? Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! I'm not a, I'm not a kid! Write something about me! Number three, Kevin Borsif. Without a doubt, the best entrance to a press conference of all time. That's how I feel. Damn sick and tired of getting out-rebounded. 25 offensive rebounds. First time we block out, we get called for a damn block out. We're pushing people. Meanwhile, they're on the other court grabbing rebounds, going over the top and grabbing them. We get one offensive rebound, the other we get called for over the back. Sorry, I apologize, but I'm very frustrated. Number two, Jim Schoenfeld. This gets bonus points because it doesn't happen at the podium. It happens face to face with a referee after a 6-1 playoff loss. Number one, Jim Mora. This is the single greatest one-liner probably ever produced in any live event ever. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Funny enough, the Colts did miss the playoffs and Jim Mora was fired. What was your favorite head coaching rant? Make sure to like, comment, and follow us on social media so you can enter to win our giveaway. If you're new to Total Pro Sports, hit the subscribe button because we put out videos every single day and we're putting out a lot more giveaways in the near future. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to follow. Until next time, I'm Mike Canalupo. Thanks for watching.